So we're joined today by Torquay United groundsman Julian Goldfoot. Julian, um, obviously after the Dagenham and Redbridge game that was obviously heavy rain, um, how is the pitch recovering after that game? Yeah, it's recovering. It's a nice, slow and steady process. Um, now, as you can see from behind me, the pitch is starting to look back to how it was. Um, the game itself, yes, was quite wet and heavy. The few days afterwards, we couldn't touch the pitch because, unfortunately, if you went on it when it was really muddy like it was, it was we would cause more damage. So we stayed off it for a few days. When when we did start, we started doing by divot in. We were knocking back the big divots and making sure that that pitch was getting back to f as flat as it we could be with walking it and knocking it back. Um, once we had done that, that took like three days. We were then able to get on with the lawn flights, which is a very small uh, mower, which is quite light, and um, we were able to cut the pitch using that one. The, it's got a small roller on it, so it flattened out the pitch a little bit. After we were able to do that, we then got Divot Mix, um, which is um, a sand and soil um, mixture. We put some seed in it and we walked the pitch, getting all the big divots, filling in with the um, Divot Mix and making those out as flat as we could. From there, we basically just let the pitch rest. We then cut it again and on Tuesday I fertilised it. Um, so it's it's starting to get there. There's still a bit to go. We also um, we use what a machine called a Procore, which is a machine that we walk behind and it actually puts like holes into the pitch to open up the top surface. Now, Julian, obviously on match day when the fans turn up, uh, the pitch is looking in pristine condition. But can you tell the people what preparation goes into getting the pitch ready before a match day? Normally we start, as soon as one match finishes, it, we then start ready for the next match. Even though if you've got two weeks, you still want to have enough time to be able to get the pitch to the condition that it's suitable to play on. So as soon as that one match finishes, we're pro doing the process towards the next match. So, but closer to the match, a pre-match day would be, say like uh, Friday, and we would then cut the pitch and walk it, make sure it's level, make sure there's no divots. On a Saturday morning, we would then come in, we would then cut again, so you can get the crisscross pattern in, you know, the checkerboard effect. Um, we go up and downwards, and then we go side to side um, to make sure that, that you get that checkerboard effect in. And then, of course, you've got to do all the line markings, string line it, line marker, it's then putting the portable goals up, then putting the goals in, corner flags in, and it's a slow, again, it's one of those processes that you rather take your time over because as soon as you start rushing things, that's when mistakes happen. And so, yeah, so I believe that match day is like everything transform. It At the minute, it looks like a football pitch, but once you've cut it and you've got the checkerboard effect in and you've got the lines freshly marked in all the goals in place the corner flags in place it then becomes like if you like the theater of dreams because that's where the players are expecting they're expecting to come out here on a football pitch that will will play well and finally julian we believe you've had some good news this week would you like to tell us about this good news well yes when i started here um under Chris Ralph. Um, I was just as a volunteer to start off with and then his assistant left. I took over from him. I said, so under Chris I wasn't qualified so it was sort of like I was leading up to it. Once Chris had left then obviously the um, management came to me and said um, we would like to put you forward for your, the courses that you need to be a qualified groundsman. So, as well as on the pitch, off the pitch, I've been very busy as well. Um, last year, I, I passed my level two exam, and this year, um, in January, um, January the 4th, I took my level three exam, which I've also passed. I've passed both with a merit, 
Um, the level three now means that if we go into the football league and further, then I'm qualified to be the groundsman in in those divisions. Julian, congratulations on your award, and we look forward to seeing how the pitch looks next uh, Tuesday against Solihull Moors. Thanks, Julian. Okay, thank you.